So for electric field exposure, uh, we use this instrument. Now we've got the lights on, we've got the uh, uh, yeah, electricity being used on that power point, so the circuits are active. Now measuring the body, as I said, we find this in 90, 95% of homes uh, where the instrumentation just goes off the dial. Um, so if I now turn off the circuits that were contributing to this, ceiling light circuit is now off. If I turn the bedside light off, which is the last device on that circuit using electricity, the circuit cutoff switch is going to realize there's no request for power and it's going to cut, um, cut the supply of electricity um, to that circuit. Now we'll be able to monitor that with that check light over there. Light is off. And the power is cut. And as you can see in here, uh, the, the you know, level of electric field exposure has been reduced to uh, you know, uh, a minimal, minimal level, which is, uh, which is wonderful. So just to show you that again, if I turn that back on, the switch realizes that again there is a request for power. It instantly gives it back. Light comes back on, um, but it's also electric field exposure as usual. Um, but you know, this may be in the middle of the night where you need to go um, get a drink, come back, lie back in bed, turn the bedside so light back off, and the power will get cut again. So, power is back, electric fields are back. When we turn the bedside so light back off, and once again, the power gets cut, and the electric field exposure also disappears. So that's great. Okay, let's have a little chat about uh, earthing. Okay, one of our nice toxin-free mattresses. So it'd be interesting to now have a look and see what those levels have become.